Hi, everybody. How are you? My name is Mr. Barrero. I am the science supervisor here at IS24. Thank you very much for joining us here today with our Family Science Fun Week, and we're exploring all different types of science experiments that can be done at home. So thank you for joining us on that. Today's video is going to be about how do we make water disappear? Now, one might think right away, well, through naturally through evaporation. That is true. But one way we're going to look at it is what happens when we take polymers and we use the polymers to help us do that. So here I'm going to take just some polymers here, polymer powder. We're going to put it in right here. We're going to throw that right in here. And then we're going to take ahead and take some water and we are going to pour it in. Now, before we do that, I want you to take a look at that fact that it's all just a powder right now and it moves pretty fluidly on that. And then when we go in here, we pour it in here, the water, which is four ounces of water, move it in. And right away, what you're seeing is that the powder begins to absorb all the water. And once that occurs, it takes shape and form. Now notice that when we do it, nothing comes out. The water doesn't tilt, it has been absorbed inside there, and this is where it is. Now, how does that work? Well, the polymer is a super absorbent water gel that it turns into eventually. And we turn it around just to kind of break it up a little bit. And we take it out, and when we take it out, look what happens. It takes the shape of a gel, one, two, three, and it's right there. Now you can see we did it a few other times. We tried it out. Now where and how can we use this? That's the question, right? And how does this take place? Well, it absorbs water through the means of osmosis. And osmosis allows water molecules to transfer through it through a cell-like membrane. And so what happens is anything bigger than a water molecule will not be absorbed and will not be allowed to enter. And so as a result, this happens. Now, where can we find this use and where can we use this? Where's the natural area that we can have this? Well, we all have, we all been little babies um, and we all have brothers and sisters or someone who has family out there that has little babies. And what they can use it commonly for is a baby's diaper. In the beginning, in the middle, uh, I'm sorry, inside the baby's diaper, you have a cloth. But when you take this cloth out, you're going to find polymers in there. And a polymer is a large molecule that's made up of a lot of smaller molecules. And together, they can take the shape of a lot of different things. For example, another way you can use this is through styrofoam, hot cups, um, heart valves are also used. And all of these polymers can then take the shape to make what we need and allow still for fluency of the water member water molecules to transfer in and out of it. And this is a great, great experiment to be able to really understand what that looks like. And this here, right here, if you leave it the way it is right now, the water will evaporate and then it will return back to a powder. So it can be reused, this right here. Now, will it be perfectly the same way it was before the, the molecules were introduced to the polymer? No, it won't. However, if you leave it here long enough, the evaporation of the water will take place and you will have its original form of a small powderly substance that allows it to be used again. Now, having said that, ladies and gentlemen, this is something you can do at home under the supervision of your family by looking for a pamper, a diaper, and taking it apart and using what's inside it. I hope you had a good time with it. I hope to see you all very soon. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.